What's up everybody, it's Nick. In this video, we're gonna talk about the best free DAWs of 2020. The term DAW stands for Digital Audio Workstation. This simply means software for assembling your music. So to get on this list, I thought the minimum capabilities in 2020 should be to be able to record audio, use virtual instruments, so piano roll, MIDI, automation, which means controlling knobs and parameters and sliders over time. So setting con controls or directions to control those over time. And finally, the last core function I think all DAWs should have is the ability to mix and add effects, which we'll learn as uh, in maybe inserts and sends later on. Uh, but that's to sound design the audio. You can add effects like delay, 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 delay. reverb, distortion. This will allow you to ultimately sculpt the sound to what you're hearing in your head and then output it to a final audio file, which we'll generally refer to as a bounce. I'm gonna share with you a brief overview of each DAW, highlight some standout features, and share any notable limitations. We'll have links to all of these downloads available in the description, so check that out. Lastly, I use Splice Sounds, which are royalty-free sounds, to drop into these DAWs, and I really think that this levels up the capabilities of these free versions. If you haven't tried Splice, we're gonna be offering a promo code to new users for a Splice Sounds 100, and that gives you 100 credits to download 100 sounds, and you'll see in these beats I made, uh, none of them used more than you know a dozen sounds, so definitely take advantage of that if you haven't checked out Splice already. Our first free DAW is Studio One Prime by PreSonus. This is a free version of their flagship DAW, Studio One 5. At the core of Studio One Prime is a powerful tool-based system that enables super fast editing and sound design. I particularly love how much you can customize your workspace. From color themes to custom shortcuts, Studio One Prime allows you to work however you want. Highlights include unlimited tracks, pattern editor for step sequence-based editing, and an excellent tool system and audio-based workflow. Notable limitations include the sampler can't drop any third-party samples in, and there's no third-party plugin support, so no custom VSTs. Next up is GarageBand by Apple. This is a free version of their flagship DAW Logic Pro X. I think some people have a negative connotation about GarageBand. I've heard it called a toy DAW. However, I think it's one of the most complete DAWs on this list as it can host unlimited tracks and use third-party plugins. So you can get as many virtual instruments in there as you want. The UI is also very beginner friendly and the sounds included are really high quality. The highlights are unlimited tracks, high quality virtual instruments, and beginner friendly UI. Notable limitations are it is Mac hardware only. <laughs> We have Ableton Lite, which is the free version of one of the most popular DAWs today, Ableton Live. It generally comes with entry-level MIDI gear. However, we are offering Ableton Lite free on Splice until December 31st, 2020. So of course, check out the link in the description to get the download. Ableton Lite includes powerful sampling workflows via drum rack and simpler, two of life's best instruments. Finally, Ableton Lite gives you live performance capabilities with the session mode, and it's one of the best options if you're trying to take your music to the stage. Highlights include powerful sampling capabilities, live performance workflow, and third-party plugin support. Notable limitations, there's an eight track maximum. However, you can choose if it's eight MIDI or eight audio tracks. And there are also less included devices. There's no synthesizers.
on this list, there's some honorary mentions that are definitely worth checking out. Serato Studio. The sampling-centric workflow is great for DJs transitioning into production. Pro Tools first. Highly recommended if you are primarily recording as it's the light version of the industry standard recording software. LMMS. This is an open source DAW that's surprisingly capable, really great for chip tunes. All right, so finally we have MPC Beats by Akai. While this was released fairly recently, it's built upon the legendary MPC workflow. It's a must if you're gonna get into sampling and I love how tightly integrated it was with my Akai MPK Mini. Also, there are tons of native effects for sound design opportunities right out of the box. Highlights include the time-tested sequence-based workflow, third-party plugin support, and tight integration with most popular keyboards. The notable limitations are eight MIDI tracks maximum and two audio tracks max, so 10 tracks total, and limited automation capabilities. <laughs> Cool. So again, those were the best free digital audio workstations in 2020. Let us know in the comments which one you are thinking of checking out or downloading. And if you have any other recommendations that we didn't cover in this video, keep the knowledge going further in the comments. Well, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what else is free? Subscribing to the channel, leaving a thumbs up. And uh, I'll see everyone on the next time. Stay inspired. Later, y'all.